Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about Camtasia projects, media, and recordings briefly. We talked about in the main course that you want to make use of Camtasia projects. So yes, you're going to record video. Yes, you're going to have a file that you're going to be working with. However, you want to be in the habit of also using the project files, which is any changes that you make, anything that you edit, anything that you add, any annotation that you make, when you save it over in that project, what happens is you haven't done anything to the original recording and it gives you the opportunity to work with that original file over and over again in different ways. Project means that you're going to be able to save your edits in a file as you make them. And it also means you can work with multiple media sources. So in other words, if you want to bring in another video, if you want to bring in some other audio, if you want to bring in something that's not in the library, you can. And you don't have to worry about it causing any problems with something that you've previously done or even causing any problems with the recording. Because all these things go along with or right on top of the recording when you actually use them. And the only way that you can make use of those things is that you have to use the project feature. So basically what a project does is it saves time. It saves you time from having to redo and restart videos once you have made a mistake. And this is a major thing to learn that you want to make sure that you're saving the projects once you have corrected something or even if you make a mistake. You can always go back and fix that mistake through the editing process. So don't record over and over again. Do one take and then just use your project file. You think of something that you want to insert into the video. You want to use a project. You think of something that you want to change about a project. You use the project file. Now this is an important concept to understand, especially as we approach this next concept in the next video which is doing all your videos in one take. Something that we mentioned in the basic course, but we really want to kind of expand on that and let you know why this is important to do, why it saves time, and why it's going to affect how you do the rest of your videos. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.